time I know I said we'd only do this once But you gave me that good thing Got a girl addicted Got me second guessing what I want Feel my phone, yeah, when the lights are Obsessing if I'm running through your window Cause you're doing cardio around me Can stop my fingers as they type out Are you up? Oh, I know that it's late, but I just wanna say Are you up? Oh, I just gotta know, yeah, if you're coming over This thing goes Let's just keep it easy Talking with our bodies I like the way that conversation goes Got me reaching for my phone Yeah, when the lights are Obsessing if I'm running through your mind now Cause you're doing cardio around Can't stop my fingers As they type out Are you up? Oh I know that it's late But I just wanna say Are you Coming over Hey everyone, it's Ketchy aka OV Jam, and we are back at the humble home of Miss Sunshine Rains. She is Winter's mom, and if you guys remember from the video I put out where I remodeled her house, you'll remember that this is the Canal Corner home that she lives in. So we're gonna just go ahead and see what she's doing. Looks like she's having a little bit of breakfast here, but this is where she lives by herself in Evergreen Harbor. So when it came to Hawk and Sunshine's separation, the whole idea mostly sparked from Sunshine because she really is very free-spirited and she was starting to feel a little bit stifled. She's the type of girl who whenever the whim comes across her that she wants to try something different, she wants to do something new, then she feels just pulled to do it. She's very impulsive that way. So she came to Hawk and said, look, I'm feeling a little bit trapped. I think we need some time apart. I want us to separate. And Hawk is a little bit different. He loves his wife. And of course, when he married her, the idea was that he would be with her forever. So he was a little bit taken aback by it. But at the same time, he also knows his wife very well. And he knows that this is how she can be a lot of times. So he agreed to do the separation, but the one thing he did want to make sure is that they still were able to maintain some semblance of a, a family relationship, a family unit. So he said, look, where is it that you want to move to? Where is it that you want to go and try and find yourself? And Sunshine had done some research and found out about Evergreen Harbor and this is where she wanted to be. She's like, this sounds like the perfect place to just try anything and everything and really sow my wild oats and get out of feeling very trapped in the way that I've been feeling. So he said, okay, cool, you can move to Evergreen Harbor. How about we do this? We'll separate, you can move there, but Winter and I are coming too. We're gonna live in the same town. We're all gonna move together, we'll live separately, and that way you can still maintain your relationship with Winter. And it wasn't really even a thought of who Winter would be staying with. Unfortunately, Sunshine lacks a little bit of that maternal instinct. She 
saw motherhood as something that was keeping her trapped and tied down. She really struggled with being a new mother, and it was very clear to Hawk when they had winter <laughs> that this was something that was going to be a challenge and that he was going to have to take the lead in because Sunshine just is the type of person who likes to do things at her own speed. It's been a point of contention between her and her son because Winter knows that the way his mother is too. She puts herself first and everything else comes second so he's a lot resentful towards her and the way that she's been through most of his un upbringing. He blames her the most for this move to Evergreen Harbor and they just got like a rough relationship because of it. In the ways Sunshine doesn't really know how to be a mom to Winter in the way that he needs to be parented, so it's it's a little bit tough for them. She's still trying to figure out how to be the right mom for Winter. This is where we are with things, so we're just gonna follow Sunshine around a little bit. She's really excited today because she's inviting Winter and Hawk over for family dinner today, and the crux of the whole dinner is the fact that Hawk actually got in contact with Sunshine and said, look, Winter's been going through some changes. He's been a whole lot to handle. He's been rebelling since we've moved here, and now I can't really reach him. He's always in his phone talking to this girl who lives next door. He's not really opening up to me. I feel like he's getting off to a rough start. I need for you to be on the same side as me as we figure this whole thing out with our son. So Sunshine said no problem and come over have dinner with me tonight. We'll talk things over with Winter and see how things will go but I don't know. We'll, we'll see how things things will go with them. But I'm just going to have Sunshine get her life together. She's having a little bit of a breakout. This move's been a little bit tough on her skin, so I'm actually going to have her do a quick skin treatment to clear that up. And Sunshine doesn't really have a job. Um, the funny thing is that despite the fact that she is separated from Hawk, he very much still takes care of her. <laughs> He's the one who paid for this house. It's actually the reason why him and Winter live in the apartment because after they paid for this home, they didn't really have the budget to buy another home for Winter to live in. So <laughs> he, he, he really does put his wife on a pedestal but while he is comfortable just letting himself get the short end of the stick if it means that she's good. But as you can see, Sunshine, like I explained in her reno of her house video, she really does like to read a lot. She's not a TV watcher. She loves to listen to music. She loves to read, so that's what she loves to do the most. But I'm actually going to have her get out of the house. Part of the reason, like I said before, that she came to Evergreen Harbor was so that she can explore herself and see what else is out there. So I'm going to have her get out into the town, see some stuff, probably head over to the makerspace, and just make new friends. Her social is very low, so she's feeling a bit lonely here. Despite the fact that she's separated from a hawk, she feels a bit weird um, being in constant communication with him because it was her idea to separate and she feels like in ways it'd be kind of going back on that if she is always talking to him on the phone or trying to invite herself over. But that is also part of the reason why she's excited to have them for dinner tonight because then she's going to get to see her family. She likes to see her family do things with their family on her own terms. It's really a problem. So let us get her out of here and she's going to actually head over to the makerspace and see what she can do with all the things that Evergreen Harbor has to offer. So it looks like there's Tina here, so I'm going to have her introduce herself to Tina, um, Tina Tinker. She's a big name in town, so she's just going to introduce herself and say, Hi, my name is Sunshine. It's nice to meet you. I just moved here. Hopefully we can be friends and get to know each other. So they're going to discuss their interests with each other and see if they can spark a friendship. It would be very cute if she made a friend in Tina. I'm going to ask her about her family and see... Maybe they have other things in common. She's gonna say, oh, you have kids. I have kids, too. We've got that in common. She's gonna go over her family. And that's another thing about Sunshine. Despite the fact that she's very about herself, she does like to play like she is more of a family person than she actually is. And that's, like, a funny thing about her. The fact that 
She wants to be able to eat her cake and have it too. She wants to discuss the neighborhood with her and say, So, like, what's this place like? What has it been the past? Where you guys want to see it go? I'm really kind of interested and just becoming part of the community and seeing how I can be a part of this picture. And it seems like Tina is super interested and hearing about that. Oh, it looks like Tina's going. <laughs> But um, let's have Sunshine go in and just see what she can do in this makerspace. That does look like she wants to talk to Summer. Some more of Sunshine's duplicitous nature comes through a little bit more here. Obviously, Summer does not have a family or kids, but she wants to still be able to get in tune with her and say, oh yeah, I like to be outdoors too. Oh yeah, I like to go out and be with my friends. She's just that girl who wants to always fit in and be that cool girl that everyone wants to hang out with. I'm gonna have her do some fabrication. With Sunshine wanting to adopt this green lifestyle, She's a little bit of a fraud in that sense because she wants to be that girl who's all sustainable living and green, but she has zero idea of how to do that. So she's kind of just like making things up right now and she's a little bit of a poser in that sense. But I'm going to have her fabric try to fabricate a table light. We'll see how this goes, but you know, Sunshine likes to put on like she's just this person that she really hasn't proven herself to be yet so that's kind of like her personality flaw that she's always trying to put on like she's one way when really she's not hopefully this whole fabrication thing doesn't blow up in her face <laughs> oh it looks like she did a good job fabricating that she feels really good about it but I'm actually probably gonna have her get some uh, something to eat Oh, it's dinner time. It's about time for her. I'm gonna let her pee, but it's about time for her to head home and make this family dinner. We actually stayed here far too long, so I'm gonna have her go home and get this family dinner started. So first we're gonna go ahead and invite Hawk and Winter over. I'm gonna have her make something simple. She's not much of a cook, so hopefully she doesn't burn the house down. Have her make some vegetable dumplings. A hawk is just catching up with Sunshine and just bringing her up to speed on what everything's going on with Winter. He's like, look, I'll let you know when we all sit for dinner together, but it really is a whole crazy thing. She's like, look, I get it. You can explain it to me when we get there, but for now, we will all just sit down and chat and figure things out and as soon as she uses the bathroom she's gonna go ahead and call the meal together so sunshine's just gonna straight all, all out ask winter what's going on with you your dad is telling me that you're having a hard time with things and you're not acting yourself just you know what is going on winter's really just wanting to start off with some pleasantries with his mom especially since it's been a bit since he's seen them, seen her since they've moved, so he's really just trying to stay surface right now and be like, "Don't worry about it, mom. You know, school is fine. These dumplings you made are great. Like, let's just focus on that." But Sunshine's wanting to pry a little bit deeper, so she's like, "No, your dad told me that you are acting out. You're fooling around with some girl next door. Is what I'm hearing. What is that about? Winter is not having any of it. He's like, "What are you talking about, mom? You have no idea what's going on with me. You have no place to really be butting in and telling me who I should be spending time with or what I have together or not." And his mom's really frustrated. Sunshine's just like, look, I am your mom. I know what's best for you. Just, you know, you need to listen to me and your dad. When we say something's off, we just want you to be on the right track. And Winter's just frustrated. He's like, look, neither of you guys really get it. I am just trying to fit in and find my place here just like you guys are. And you guys should just give me that space to do it. Winter, of course, has had enough of this discussion and he decided to leave, <laughs> go upstairs. But Sunshine's really just trying to get deep in with 
talk and just figure out like is there anything else I should know about because that conversation did not go well and the Hawk's like look I'm trying to handle it I figure getting you on board might help but I'm seeing now that maybe maybe it really is something that I should focus on and then once I've got things settled out maybe I'll loop you back in. Sunshine's a little bit concerned on exactly what him having to work on this alone is going to entail. I mean she still cares about her son. Winter will always be her baby boy but she's trusting Hawk to figure this out even though she's a bit frustrated that she's not been able to help the way that she wanted to. But she's just chatting with him, catching up with him. One thing that Sunshine's good at is buttering up Hawk and keeping him wrapped around her finger. So she did actually ask him for money before he decided to call a night with her. And he did give her a, a little bit of 33 simoleons to work with. But him and Winter are about to head out. They're both saying their goodbyes now. And they're just going to leave uh, Sunshine to kind of just uh, soak in what happened and process her son seemingly getting off to, to the wrong start with uh, the girl that lives next door. So it's going to be interesting to see how Sunshine handles this considering that she isn't very maternal and it's kind of been a shock that this new start is turning into slightly a little bit of a nightmare with her son. She wasn't expecting this but hopefully our girl Sunshine will figure out not only what she wants to do now in Evergreen Harbor but also how she can be a more solid mother figure to her son who she's just never not been able to figure out right now. She's just gonna unwind for the night, sleep, think about things, process some, with some music listening and play a little bit of chess. She's not a really a, a chess player like I said. Sunshine is a, a little bit of a poser so she doesn't really know how to play but she is figuring it out. But that is where we are going to leave it, guys. If you enjoyed this uh, fourth episode of The Runaways, please leave a comment, like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and tell me what you hope to see in the next part. I know this one was a little bit different since we normally are following Ember, but I do want to make this series multifaceted and really spend time with all of our characters now that we have the Reigns family in the picture. Hopefully there will be new uh, sims in the future that we get to spend time with, but let me know if you like this, if you like this revolving cast from episode to episode. I plan to involve more of it. But until next time guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and of course stay dazzled. I'll see you next one. Bye! Guy and told me that's what you needed That's in my face Yeah Cause you were kind of one and that was easy